looks really booby. Oh god. So, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a special guest. My boyfriend Sven is here today. <laughs> so I've asked you guys some questions to ask me and Sven. We're gonna answer them for you guys. I have all the questions here on my iPad. I will be looking down so don't get offended if I'm not always looking at the camera. Just a disclaimer before we start this video. There were a few questions which we decided not to answer because they are a bit too personal. So I don't want you guys to take it personally that we aren't gonna answer them, but we just wanna keep some things private and if we don't answer it, that's kind of why we want to keep our lives a little bit private in that regard. We also don't want to overload the video. <laughs> okay, so let's actually just jump straight into the questions because you guys asked a lot of questions and I feel like we have a lot to discuss. So let's get started. What is our favorite meal to cook together? I would say Thai curry. I would say Thai curry as well. <laughs> It's just a lot to do and it's a good quality time to be in the kitchen together and cook it together. Mm. What's your favorite thing to do for date nights? Shall I answer this or shall you? Ladies first. Okay, well obviously you guys know it's corona time so we're not doing much date nights. I also go with movies and drinks after. That makes no sense, what is that answer? The question! Favorite thing to oh, do for date night. Oh, what's your favorite thing to do? Yeah, I don't know what you were talking so long about. Oh my god, can we, we're gonna redo that whole thing because I did not get that question right. <laughs> okay, and I would say my favorite thing was going to the movies and just having a nice dinner at home or even a nice dinner at a restaurant. Um, I think that was a really nice date night for me. Do you see yourself getting married and having kids in the future? Definitely. Definitely. I think you wouldn't sit here if not. <laughs> Sitting here should answer your question already. Yeah, I'll just put this out there. Sven is not the type of person to do these things. Like YouTube. Yeah, definitely not. So it's like out of your you? comfort zone. What countries would you and Sven like to visit as a couple or do you have a dream destination? I think our dream destination would be Seychelles. Am I right? No. So my dream destination is As a couple. Hawaii. Is as a couple though. Why Hawaii? I always wanted to go to Hawaii. By yourself or as a couple? Oh, as a couple. I don't know, I think for me, a lot of people romanticize Hawaii and for me, it's kind of a turn off that they romanticize it so much. Like I would obviously go, but mm. I don't see it as a go-to place for couples. Like for me, that would be somewhere in Asia, like- Seychelles are amazing. Seychelles, yeah. Um, or backpacking somewhere in Asia. I would do that I as a couple. I just saw a video about Nicaragua this morning. Mm. Also beautiful. I don't think we have like a dream destination. We just look what's nice and where we want to go. Forget about it. <laughs> oh my god, this video so far. <laughs> think maybe going to Jamaica. Well, that makes sense, yeah. So yeah, Jamaica. Caribbean. That'll be cut out. <laughs> what do you love and dislike most about each other? I think we had that in a video before already, but I would just go with you. Being perfect and super ordinary and super clean all the time. Or, or, or dentlich is not the same as like ordinary. Like, or you can say orderly. Orderly. Yeah, I mean, that is a big thing about me. I do like things clean and kind of perfect. To an extent, it can be a little bit much, but yeah, I can see how you would dislike that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's amazing. It's nice to have your own space, like, tidied up and clean. What I dislike about you, maybe some things you don't take as seriously as you should, I can say. Alright, I'll take that. But the question did also say, what do I love about this person? And I love that they are so caring and so kind and would do anything for me. I was about to say the same thing, so let me add something to it. Probably the honesty and being so direct as well. This person said, hey Zoe, love you and your content. And I just want to say to the people who said hearts and love your content, thank you guys so much. I do see you and I see your comments. This person said, my question is, how do you and Sven handle and get through disagreements as a couple? And before we even answer this question, we are not a perfect couple. We obviously argue like, any other couple? Yeah, I think it's every adult should do it. We just talk about it and at the end of the day we get to a solution. Yeah. 
Well, we do try to like sold them within the day. We'll say the whole day because obviously some disagreements, you know, it happens maybe one or two hours, but you're still a bit salty afterwards. But throughout the whole 24 hours, the disagreement will be solved. <sighs> what is that? How is interracial relationship in Germany compared to the US and how do both families feel about you dating? So I can't compare it to the US because I've never dated a person outside of my race in the US. So I can't compare it. And I, I, I don't think he can compare it either. He's never dated. I've never dated in the US. He's never dated in the US and he's never dated a black woman before. So we can't really answer that part. And how do both families feel about you dating? I think it's the 21st century. I feel like some, but you know, I don't know. I don't know situations across the world, but for me, I feel like my family was fine. It was not a topic really. Obviously they do know that he's, you know, white, he's German. They do know that, but it wasn't like, ah, oh, what are you doing? Like, it, it's nothing crazy like that. It was just regular. I guess it's the same in my family. Like the question came up and I was like, is that even a question you should ask? Because there's nothing really different than if I would have brought home a white girl. But I, I understand where they're coming from with the questions only because we don't know every every household across the mm. globe. And I feel like in our minds, it's difficult to even imagine parents or any parents of different you know cultures, races still acting that way, but that can actually be a thing. And I do see that. But for in our situation, it was perfectly normal, perfectly okay. It was not anything crazy. I started following you from the first video. I love your spirit, vibes, and growth. I love seeing you with your partner. And I guess my question is, how do you guys deal with negativity? I know on social media, people are quick to hate and be mean for no reason. I think I can answer that because he's not really in my YouTube social media life like that. But for me, I am actually, I think, one of the luckier YouTubers. I don't really get that much hate and I don't really get that much mean comments. You guys are more or less like 99%, let's say 98% supportive. I do sometimes get some mean comments, but my blocker finger is like always ready. Like I don't, I do not tolerate, I don't tolerate it. And I hear some other YouTubers say if they see something mean, they'll just delete the comment. Not in my life, no, I will block you immediately because I have no time for it. I don't wanna argue with these people. So for me, I don't really see a lot of hate and meanness because if I do, they're blocked immediately. So that's my <laughs> answer to that. This person said, hello, send y'all love from South Africa. Hi, it's sometimes so crazy to know that people from South Africa are watching me so far. That would also be a dream destination. Yeah, we do also want to go to South Africa one of these days. What lessons did you learn from your breakup that has helped you with your relationship now? I'll start because I feel like I learned a lot. Um, before we broke up, I will say that I felt, I felt a little bit suckled on to Sven only because he was my anchor here in Germany. I didn't have a family here, so I felt really dependent on him, not in financial ways or anything like that, but socially I felt dependent on him. And I feel like after that breakup and my life, you know, escalated without him, this is nothing against you, but without him, I developed more friendships. I was going out, meeting people, doing this, doing this, traveling by myself. Which I've, I always wanted you to be. Yeah, but it was harder back in that situation. But I felt like that year apart was really, really, really helpful for me because I, I found who I was before I met Sven and it was exhilarating, you know, to be finally me again. Um, being a woman and a boss, that's how I felt in that breakup and I'm keeping that mentality now. And I think that's what I learned about myself within that breakup, that I don't need a man. I don't need anybody. I can do it all by myself. And obviously I'm happy now with a partner, but I now know that I can do that without anyone. He just adds, you know, the love aspect now back into my life. Obviously I learned a lot as well. I mean, within a year you do learn a lot. You can show your partner that you love them and that's what I'll learn. Obviously I love her, but showing her that more often. Um, do you two officially live together now? We do officially live together now since... Here's my ID. <laughs> since January and yeah, 
Will Germany be the place you and Sven settle or do you have plans to move elsewhere? I guess right now we don't have any plans and definitely we can imagine ourselves in Germany and we can imagine ourselves to settle here, especially in the neighborhood we are around, feel really comfortable here. It will also be a good area for kids, like it's also a good area for kids to grow up. And obviously we're not like we have to stay here the rest of our lives. Yeah, we don't know what the future will hold. Have you and Sven considered starting a couples channel and that is a negative no? No, 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 because YouTube is not for Sven. He is just here for me as well as there's a lot of work that goes into YouTube. And I think that Sven does not have the time to be editing or pulling out the camera. It's just not his thing. And I don't want to as well start a channel, a couple's channel where I'm the one doing all the work and everything. It needs to be a dual thing. And he's not on YouTube like that anyway, so. I mean, I'm happy to support Zoe, but not my thing. No. So guys, that was all... So guys, that was all the questions, more or less. Some of them, like I said, we left out because it's just a little bit too personal and we don't want to answer those. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.